Hey guys, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. This is Shurful. In this lecture, we're going to learn functions in JavaScript. So what is function? So a JavaScript function is a block of code that designed to perform a specific or particular job. So it's defined the code once and use it many times. This is one of the benefits, you know, why, you know, the, the use case of function. So when you create a function, the so function does a specific job, and if you need to use the same type of job again and again, so you can call that function, invoke that function, and you can reuse the same code. So you don't have to write the same code again and again. So a JavaScript function is executed when something invokes it or calls it. So how the, uh, the function get executed? By invoking, by calling, calling that function. Example, here is a uh, syntax of the function. So you uh, you are going to use the function keyword, then function name. So it's the, it's any name. It's up to you. One word, two word. It's up to you. You know, follow camel cascading, and then you may have a parameter inside this bracket. So it depends on how many parameter you need to pass. So parameter example one, two, three, or even none or you can keep it empty there is no parameter it really depends on you know the requirement of your function and inside that's the curly braces this is your body of the function that code you are going to write over here will execute when you call it function by the name so function parameter are, are listed inside the parenthesis in the function definition as I said this uh, you know the, all the parameters are listed inside this, you know, this parent parenthesis bracket, and the function argument are the values received by the function when it's invoked. So, if you have a parameter in your function, so when you call your function, that time you have to pass actual value, you know, instead of this parameter as like you know, mapping with parameter. So, if you have a parameter one, two, three, you have to pass the, you know three values which are called argument are actual values uh, arguments are actual value you know when you, you have to set those values or pass those values when you call the function and and that's called function invoking right so how the function get invoked when an event occurs you know when a user in a real life in a uh, application you know when an event occurs say you click on a button then it does some job so that the job the the job it does you know it's written in a function through JavaScript okay so JavaScript as we know the JavaScript brings the dynamic behavior to a web element or HTML uh, uh, you know elements so that if you need to bring any specific uh, you know the 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 behavior to an any any button that time you know you can use a function underneath the javascript uh you know uh, underneath the javascript so you know that's the function you know comes to the picture this is a one of the use case how the function gets invoked or executed so it could be you know uh, occurring an event and also when it is invoked you know from javascript code or you could call the function manually so you have a function you know uh, whatever the name function name then you can manually you can call that function by the name directly by the name so in 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 your code you can you can do this so that's another way to invoke your function and also it can automatically invoke itself so automatically self invoked also there is an option to invoke or execute your function so this is the three different way the function can get invoke and inside the function we, we have seen this the uh, the syntax of the function you will uh, have a, key, a keyword function then you have a uh, you know name then you have a parenthesis then you have a function body so in a body you know when JavaScript reaches you know you reaches a return statement the function will stop execution so in a body you know uh, if you if you see our previous lecture over here you see this the code over here you know so inside a code you you write some code at the end you may have a you know return statement so 
when javascript reaches a return statement so you may have a return statement in your function or may not so if you have a return statement which is the last statement of your body of the function so when javascript reaches a return statement the function will you know stop execution function will stop executing okay so it will return the final execution to the uh, uh, to the function the function name uh, by the function name then if the function was invoked from a statement javascript will return to execute the code after the invoking statement so functions uh, often compute a return values the return value is uh, return back to the caller so now you know this is pretty much the very uh, high level theoretical information about the function now we're going to see you know very some basic function how the function works how we can call function uh, manually and also we'll see how you can create a function and that can be triggered by an any event on your HTML web element so you know so a couple of different way we'll see how to create a function also how to invoke the function so let's go to the, our code play so we're back to our play code here we're going to use first we're going to you know create a very simple function so let's see the creative function so creative function as you said the syntax you are going to type a keyword use the keyword function then you give a name say our uh, uh, we're going to uh, you know add to a different value so it's like addition function right so give a name say addition addition and then I can pass the parameter two parameter x y okay so this is a two parameter and then this is my body of the function so I can you know so simply I can say uh, console console dot log and then I can just you know so I can just you know add x y x plus y x plus y so this is the two so this is my body what I'm doing I'm just adding x and y and I will print it so but there is no value yet you know I haven't passed any value so this is right now x y is a parameter you can see so now to execute this function I have to call the function and how to call the function simply call by the name you know call by the name and then when you call the function this is a function yeah if you have a parameter you can say x y uh, x and y I have a parameter so you have to pass the argument which is the actual value so I would say you know 20 comma 30 so x is now 20 and, th and y is now 30 so it's supposed to print you x plus y it means it's supposed to print you 50 so if I just run it you can see it's the 50 here okay so this is the very simple you know a concept of function so just create a function and then you know this is one way you can uh, you can call the function and you can print the value other way you may have a you know we may have a return statement so we can have a return statement. So how to do this return statement same way we can do you know instead of console we can just have the the last statement it's return return and then remove the console sorry remove this so return is a, again it's a keyword you know we use it's a last statement of your function if you use a return in your function but it's up to you whether you use a return or not x y and then you know I pass I call the function and then so return x plus y so this will return to the you know uh, to the function you know here so now uh, I have addition you know I call the function pass 20 30 I may put this one in a variable say I would say result result and then return to this var and then now I can put the console console.log and then you know I can pass this result variable inside here so it will print also it will do the same job you will not see okay it will do the same job but you know uh, this is another way so if you use a you can use a return statement on your function which is the last statement or you may not have a return statement on your body of the function which is pretty good 
so this is the both way you can write your function and calling the function simple call by the name if you have a parameter pass the argument and then you, whether you put in a variable or you can uh, print it whatever you need to do you can do it okay or also we can see one more okay we can say let's rewrite this function say we can say uh, function my function this is the name of function and then without a parameter okay this time I'm not using any parameter so let's put inside it's a body of the function let's pass another alert uh, function in so function inside a another function which is the JavaScript in a default uh, function it's called alert it's a it comes with JavaScript library so alert it's it shows the pop-up alert so I can say hello world okay so that's I can say and then I can call that function so as soon as I call the function it will execute it call the function my function and then okay so run it you can see so pop-up window will come up you know the same text it has so it is a function without any parameter so I didn't pass any parameter and there is no uh, return statement too okay so that's the way you can call create a function and also call your function so it's really depends on you you know what type of function you need is a whether it would include a parameter or without a parameter okay you return the statement or without a written statement so now let's go back to let's clear over here let's go back to our another file so here this is our index HTML file so now we're going to create a HTML file very simple HTML file where we're going to create some input box and also button and and we'll pass some value to this inbox box uh, input box and then you know we can add those uh, values by clicking uh, a button so when you click a button it will add uh, you know this two input value it will subtract it will multi uh, multiply so it, it is like a you know dummy calculator web version dummy cal calculator we're going to create and when you click on the button you know the, the action will be performed like addition subtraction or multiplication those things will come through a function so it will call the function and function will invoke when you click on those button so we're going to see that so this is some real life example like you know assume that you know we are you have HTML uh, page and where you are going to inject uh, script JavaScript where you have a function and function will invoke when you, when there is a event happen when there is a click uh, uh, happen on a button so let's create a HTML code simple HTML code so we're going to create a HTML code very simple HTML right and inside this we're going to have a body or or we're going to have a head Head and here we're closing head and inside a head maybe we can say you know my calculator my calculator okay and after that we'll have a body let's create a body body and let's create a uh, closing body body okay so this is a closing tag and opening tag between this closing and opening body we're going to write all those things our so first we're going to create uh, you know two uh, input box so input field so tag would be input create a input field so let's give an ID of that element so I would say example box one this is the ID okay and then close it okay so this is the uh, first input field and then same way I can create another one just copy it and paste it there so just give it change the ID name to 2 okay so this two input field been created if you just you know click on there you can see 
my calculator and there's a two input field been created okay and let's after that I wanna put a uh, what's called I wanna put a uh, button over here so if I wanna put a button so let's put a another break so that it goes to the next line next uh, you know next new tab and then let's create a button button and then the field name is button so tag is button ID equals to first I uh, will give a you know let's give a name or ID for that field so that I can call that field uh, so give it add btn button okay add button and then uh, what would be the text on that uh, on the field on this button so we'll give first is add okay and then close it close the button sorry close the button okay so let's see if you just run it you can see there is a add button right and here if you just add some value nothing will happen if you click there's no event where when you click on the button because we haven't add, create any function and link with this button we haven't done yet so that it's you know execute and resolve the value shows the result value so that's what we're going to do okay so let's so we're going to we'll create a some function this will that will add these two values and then it will invoke when uh, this add button will is been clicked okay so we will have a relation have a link with this button with the uh, script javascript function okay so let's uh, so if, uh, we have created a button and after that uh, I would say let's create more button for so this is the button for addition let's create more button for so this is for I would say add button this is for sub button for subscription and then this is for mul mul button for mul multiplication and this let's change the you know text is over here sub and then mul okay I mean different function of the calculator so and uh, and after that you know I will so where when I pass the value you click on the button and then it sh it will show the result where it's going to show the result so we need a, some specific area so let's put a let's declare a uh, parameter so where it will show the result so this is the parameter so I'm going to also declare the, the the properties of the parameter that element its result result so this is this will show the result result will show under this parameter okay and then I'll keep the parameter empty because in this place between this you know this parameter the value the result will show so I will keep the parameter as empty for now okay so closing the parameter so now so this is my body so far is good for now if you just refresh it you can see it. add sub mul so three button it shows you know we can pass the value but nothing will happen because we haven't create any JavaScript function that will occur that will execute when you call the button click on the button so let's create now function so the function those function is part, would be part of the JavaScript and we know that you can host the JavaScript in your HTML code so uh, if you don't know how to do this I will show you over here but you know you can create your JavaScript file separately then you can you know call you can make a link that JavaScript file pa pass the pa in the directory part of the JavaScript file in your HTML code uh, that's the way you can make a connect between your HTML and JavaScript or you can direct embedded the JavaScript code in HTML code with a HTML so the bottom line you know JavaScript works with along with HTML so JavaScript have to be hosted by the HTML code so what right in this example I'm going to write that this uh, script code over here JavaScript so to do this you have to type the tag name for a script script okay so between this to script this is your script okay so between here I'm going to create you know my function so first 
function would be so how to create a function very simple the function keyword and then you know you give a name so for the addition for the addition I will give a name addition this is my function name okay and then there's no parameter and here next is I'm going to pass the this is the body of the function body of the function would be say now you know what would be the 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 you know in this function where this addition where the two values so two value it will be in this two box in this two input field so I have to call I have to get those value so that over here I can do the addition so to get the value from this two input where this two input field it's over here this is the two input field right and they have a both ID two element ID so I can call you know in a JavaScript it has its own uh, the built-in default um, object is called document document it's a do, sorry document is a default object of JavaScript to call any web element right so document dot uh, get and it has its own method also in JavaScript for this document object underneath document object one of the method is get element get get element by what so we have ID right for this two input field so we'll say ID and then we have to pass the the value of the ID so what's the value of the ID so first is box one box one right so this this input and then we, we need to get the value from this so now by this line you know we're calling this box we're identifying in the you know this first input box input field and then we need to get the value inside the box so there is a method is called value so you can get the value in from where from here okay so this will get the first value and then the same way I can call I can get the second value from the second input field right you just change the ID so what's the ID for the second one it's box 2 right so this will to get the two box uh, value right and now let's let's put this two guy in a two variable so it will help it will, it will be easy to make a, a addition so I would say a or oh yeah so then return to this bar so same thing will be here so I would say B sorry bar right and now let's declare another variable it's called uh, final result final result equals to okay like equals to so now I need to add this to for if I want to for this addition function right so I can do a plus B a plus B I can do it but but the problem is that you know this a and B will not work it will not able to do the addition because the reason why you know it's over here this to uh, the the value is taking over here even though we're entering uh, you know the number like which is integer but it is not integer it is in fact it's taking as a string value so we have to convert this uh, you know this uh, this uh, uh, this to a string to integer so there is a method in the in the JavaScript okay to it to convert your string to integer is called parse okay parse parse int and now what do you want to convert to uh, integer a then plus you do the same thing right you'll just add with the B right so it will so uh, the value of a now is it's completely in integer format and B also is completely in integer format right now you you have the value a plus B which is the integer value where in final result over here in this variable now you know you can pass this variable where we are wanna pass this variable over here whatever the result is holding this value result you know we can pass this value to over here in this parameter okay that's what we want because that's why we created this parameter so that in this parameter in this place 
you know the result shows somewhere over here so what's the result will come up will come up from over here so let's call this guy let's call this guy again a document by you know uh, let's call this guy let's call this guy document by uh, uh, get element ID by what's the ID for this P its result right so let's update, change over here result and then you know over here in this so it is and the, they have a method is called inner HTML inner this is also JavaScript inbuilt method inner HTML inner HTML and then it calls so don't worry about this you know because I'm using a free version of play code that's why you know they are giving me uh, you know noticed so inner HTML uh, equals to so where you know what what HTML what uh, you know uh, code or what's a re uh, the value you want to put over here so I want to put the value what's the result is comes up by this variable you know this re final result is holding so place the final result okay so that should be good for for now okay let's run it okay let's so let's pass 10 20 and click on add okay okay hold it so I did a plus B then call over here right function oh so what I missed over here you can see so this function addition function is good it it can it have the knowledge about two values from this two field and then also convert them to integer person variable and and puts this result to in this parameter over here but now you know this this uh, you know uh, uh, this uh, addition so here this this is the you know button for this this addition so this addition button there is no link with this this addition button you know should what are you looking for when you click on that it should show the result show the result it means it show this mm, this uh, paragraph so but there is no link between these two right and between these two so we have to make a link between the button and also the result or paragraph so make a link so we're going to call this button first okay so inside the script let's uh, call this button again how we can call the button same way document document by you know get uh, document dot get um, element by ID what's the ID of the of the addition button for this ID is this the one right add BT add button and then what do you want to do so you want to so this is the locator this is the locator of this button and what do you want to do we want to click on that button and when you click the button it should result it should you know show the result right it should show the result what result the result will come from this function so let's do you know uh, uh, add a click function there's a method is called on click on click so the on click is the event will trigger you know will trigger when you click actual do the click and that time it will show the result what would be the result result would be you know comes from this function so you call the function right by the name so that should be good now oh, sorry that should be good now so let's see if I just add 10 20 and click on add here we go you can see the 30 see so where this 30 comes from it comes from this two and how this two value gets add this two value gets add added by this function right addition function and this addition function got called when you perform the on click click uh, action where on this button this is the locator of the button okay clear similarly we can do more we can add more function right similarly we can add subtraction multiplication 
okay let's add more function subtraction for and then multiplication so here we're going to for so change the name let's change the name to subtraction first one this is the second method for subtraction and here the same input value will come from the same input field and all you have to just change over here the function and then you know the rest is fine and then here we were going to say multiplication multiplication and then here we're going to just add the our function okay arithmetical function okay and then and similarly we're going to we need to add over here so this is this this is the you know on click function uh, applied to add button right the add button so similarly we have to call this subtract and multiplication button make a relation you know with the function with the execute ex actual function that will show the result so same thing we can just copy update here and update here so the where is the subtract button locator locator is over here for the sub this is the ID so update your ID and then what function will call when you click on there it will show the result from where from this subtraction not the addition right so you have to change over here you have to call the right function the similarly you know for for the uh, multiplication so you call the this is the locator right this is the ID of the multiplication and when you click on the button it will call the multiplication function so update the function name right so pretty much that should be good let's close this sorry for this uh, you know okay let's close it so let's uh, add we'll do the first addition right 30 so next we'll do the subtraction so in the subtraction let's do 20 by 30 to make it easy 10 right and then we'll do multiplication so 20 into 10 should be 200 you see so this is the way you know you can create a function in your script you know on your JavaScript and you can call the function you know uh, and you can add those result you know based on different event on your different button you have like different web element and on the web element you can apply some of the action and this this is the action it's like will be trigger and will show the result you know a result will come from the your your uh, JavaScript function is it clear so I hope you like it you know this is makes it very clear the concept the use case of function in real life example you know HTML um, code as well as you know just simple uh, function when you create you, you can have a parameter you may not have a parameter you can return the statement you may not have the return the statement you know whatever whatever the body will be it really depends on your requirement okay thanks a lot stay tuned there's a lot to learn if you find this uh, tutorial was helpful please like and subscribe with others and uh, we'll see you next tutorial have a good one bye bye